Hi, this is Paul Lee, PGY4 from Western University, and today I'm going to talk about loss of lung sliding and thinking beyond the pneumothorax. So the outline of this talk today is, first of all, we're going to review how loss of lung sliding looks like on the ultrasound machine. Then we're going to review the differential to think about when you see this sign. And then we're going to review some of the more advanced signs for pneumothorax. So basically what loss of lung sliding looks like is the loss of the shimmer or movement at the level of the pleura with respiratory movement. And this is shown here. So as you can see in this patient there's respiratory movement but there is none of the shimmer or movement that you would associate with the normal or healthy pleura uh, here. Now when most clinicians see this the first consideration they think about is pneumothorax. However anything that causes lung volume loss can do this as well so atelectasis, main stem intubation, mucus plug, pneumonectomy can all cause this. In addition other causes of pleural scarring such as talcloridesis, inflammatory pleural disease, infectious pleural disease or previous radiation therapy can do it as well. So the key point is that not every patient who's got loss of lung sliding has a pneumothorax, and this sign has to be interpreted within the context of the patient. So if there's a patient that you're suspecting might have a pneumothorax and uh, you're ultrasounding them to assess this, if they've had previous pleural manipulation or previous pleural disease, loss of lung sliding is not going to help you in your pneumothorax assessment. Now there are some more advanced signs at uh, the pleura that can help you narrow down your differential. Uh, and this includes things such as uh, hypoechoic or uh, echogenic uh, pleural uh, fibrosis or different patterns of pleural thickening, whether it's a diffuse or focal. However, this is beyond the scope of the current discussion. In terms of other signs for pneumothorax, if the patient has a presence of a lung point, this would suggest that the patient has the pneumothorax, whereas if the patient has a uh, presence of B lines or presence of a lung pulse, these two signs would rule against the patient having a pneumothorax. And what the lung point is, is basically a, a sudden appearance of an area of a normal sliding lung in an area where there wasn't any sliding lung before. And this sign was found to be highly specific for pneumothorax. Uh, the original case control study found that this sign had a specificity of 100% for pneumothorax. And this sign is shown here. And as you can see, at the level of the pleura, on the left there appears to be normal uh, shimmer or normal sliding lung. But on the right there doesn't appear to be a sliding lung at all. And the point between these two areas is the lung point. And what this indicates is the area of healthy pleura um, transitioning over to pneumothorax. Now another sign that can help you in assessing a patient who's got loss of lung sliding is the lung pulse. And what this sign uh, has shown is that uh, in the original study it was found to have a sensitivity of 93% and a specificity of 100% for selective uh, intubation causing atelectasis. And what you would see with this sign is no lung sliding with respiratory movement but instead what you see is a slight shimmer that corresponds with heart pulsations. And basically what this indicates is a healthy visceral parietal uh, pleural uh, interface. The uh, lung is not moving with respiratory movement and instead you're just getting uh, transmitted heart pulses causing slight movement of the pleura. And this sign is shown here. So as you can see there is none of the normal respiratory movement but instead what you get is a very slight shimmer that's high frequency uh, that corresponds with heart pulsations. And the interpretation in this case would be that this patient uh, has likely been uh, intubated in the opposite lung and this lung right here, uh, the pleura is healthy but because there is no ventilation, there is no respiratory movement. So the best strategy to assess a patient uh, for pneumothorax is to use, probably to use a combination of signs and this was shown in a couple of meta-analyses. So in the first meta-analysis shown here, what they used was loss of lung sliding plus beeline loss plus minus the presence of a lung point and this was found to have a sensitivity of 78.6% and a specificity of 98.4%. Another study uh, looking at loss of lung sliding plus loss of beelines 
found a sensitivity of 90.9% and a specificity of 98.2%, and this compares quite favorably to chest x-rays. So the bottom line is that if you see a patient who's got loss of lung sliding, think about other differentials beyond just the pneumothorax. And a combination of signs is probably the best strategy to, uh, in assessing a patient for pneumothorax. Here are some additional references, and thanks for listening.